welcome back so today we are going to configure the key flex field so these are the flex fields we are going to configure that is create flex field job flex field cost allocation flex field that is for accounts position flex field people group and competence so in this video maybe we will be cover uh, create flex fields and job job flex field okay so one of the points you should consider before configuring a flex field you should plan the structure like uh, like for example you are going to uh, configure the grade flex field so you should have in your mind that what are the grades you your organization required uh, what are the values of the grades and job if you are configuring for a job flex field you should have what are the uh, what are the job types you have in your organization and which department which is having uh, for example hr uh, hr assistant hr assistant will be under hr department so the job uh, this particular job is under this particular department so you should plan everything in your mind or you should note it down or you document it and then uh, the size of the segments so uh, what will have grade uh, grade will have okay so so we will go to create the grade flex field. We will go to the application. Uh, application you I already the user I already created and the responsibility I assigned this is set in responsibility. Now uh, you go log in and you come to the sys administrator. Then you come to the application. Application you can see in the validation uh, flex field key segments. Okay, then you search for grade. So we'll get uh, a list of um, uh, key flex fields already configured as it is a vision instance. So we will create uh, our grade uh, grade. So, these are the name we are going to give for our great flex field. And title also same, code also same. And click on segments. You can configure up to 30 segments here. So, according to my configuration, I have only two segments for grade that is grade name and grade value. So, we will go to our second. Value set values that you have to create. So this is the create name value set. So we are creating a value set from the key flux field itself. So it's a list of list type is list of values, security is non-security, format type is character and Maximum size I am giving for the grade name is 20 and uppercase you can give us yes and the validation type is independent yes. So we created the grade value set. Okay, the second uh, one is grade level
and we have to create a value set for grade level also. List of values, no security, and the maximum size we are giving us two, and it's in the upper case and limit. So we have uh, created the uh, great uh, level value set also. I think we have to uh, save the uh, first line. It's created fine. So, so the next step is to combine, and we should click allow dynamic inserts and please flex fields, and you should compile it. The flex field was compiled successfully. Submitted a request to generate flex field view. So our great flex field is done. So next we will go to the job flex field. So this is the job uh, flex field name we are going to give. So same like our navigation to great flex field, we have to come to the job flex field also. You will search for the job flex field. So we have it. So we already decided the name will be like this. We even should give the description to find out it later. Then we should go to the segments. I have uh, I have two type of segments here. Uh, first one is job name and second one is department. And we should create a value set for job name. So this is the name and the form. We should keep the description. X5 set job name underscore VS is the value set name. List of values, no security, maximum size is 20, and uppercase only is equal to yes. Is equal to yes, and maximum size we should keep as 20, and uh, the validation type is independent. So, our, so our job name key flex field is be created. So, we saved it. We come to the second level job department. We create job department that we will configure in segment number. to create a uh, so we will we will specify the job code here actually not job department so we will create the value set for the uh, job code
still for report. List of values, no securities, maximum size is 10. And upper case will be 0 yes. And should select this one as dependent. We have to give the uh, job name value set here. So, last for it uh, while you are giving independent, last for a value set. So, should give a default value, we will give us mg manager. Done with the uh, job code value set also. Save it. So that's done. Now you come here, you click hello dynamic inserts, freeze the flex field, and come here. Okay, so uh, we configured uh, great flex field and job flex field in this video so the next video will be having uh, uh, account allocation flex field configuration position flex field uh, position uh, flex field configuration key flex, not key competence flex field combo configuration and people group flex field configuration thanks for watching so uh, we can see in the next video thank you